Welcome retail traders. Today I want to talk about a trade that I got into and that was Amazon yesterday. And I had a real good day yesterday but I got stuck in Amazon and it pulled my my challenge account down. So that's the one I chose. There were a lot better choices and I did take other trades but Amazon was my swing and I got stuck in it so we're going to look at it right now and see where we are. The uh, call I got was the um, 35.50 strike and I jumped in it thinking we were going to go ahead and take off at 9.75 and then we had that drama. I got back in it a couple hundred dollars less at 7.85 so I have an average of 8.80 and that's on the December 31st strike right here. So I got to figure out, trying to figure out how I got it, how I can get out of it, at least with small loss or at least even. So everybody knows what Amazon is. The sales were up about 8.5% as our U.S. sales were up. So, I, you know, I got into, I seen Amazon dipping. I said, man, it's a great opportunity to take this trade because it was kind of looking sexy and no she just took the hay ride and went down so we're going to go ahead and look at the chart not very often i get stuck in a in a trade but when i do i got to try to work my way out these are the daily candles the only real threatening news i saw in here was the uh nothing really about covid it was more about antitrust security but a lot of analysts have, you know, said this stock has not really moved compared to the, all the others, and they're expecting a good uptrend in 2022. So I took that and the great sales. I still think Amazon's going to post some great sales. And uh, we're just going to have to see when they come out. But if sales are up in the U.S. 8.5%, they got to be up in Amazon too. A lot of people are ordering from home. So there's a lot of good reasons why I like this into 2022. And I kind of liked it into 2021, but it never did really. It, it played more or less like a Darvis box. If you look at the yearly, kind of an upward trend bouncing off the 200. And that's why I kind of like this trade right now. She does like to dip below the 200 a little bit, which we already have. We had a pretty hard correction. So I'm expecting, you know, this thing to get back up. So we're going to look at the resistance to break today on the daily candle. <clears throat> and it's going to be right on the top of these ridges right in here. So if today, if we get past... Well, I'd say 20, 34, 21 area, somewhere in that area. We could have a nice little ride back up here to right around the 34, 39 area for a resistance level for an exit idea. But we got to break at 34, 21. And we're going to kind of double check that on the 20 day. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. If we can stay above this here support level of 30... 390 19 that'll be great and if we can get at least up here today right around the 34 12 and break that I'm pretty sure we can get back up here to 34 39 we'll just have to see how the market goes here for the rest of the day but yesterday this should have went up everything else went up but it, they were definitely shorting this thing yesterday strong and good job, Bears. We're going to see what we can do today. So everybody have a great day. This is Amazon.